The Large Hadron Collider will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements. So this is the first time I'll have seen the detector and wow. This opens a new era of exploration at CERN, a new chapter, run three of the Large Hadron Collider. Physicists from around the world were on the edge of their seats as the greatest, most advanced high-energy particle collider finally became operational. Decades of anticipation had built up, and the moment had arrived to witness this remarkable invention revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The Large Hadron Collider, meticulously built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, came to life after a painstaking building process that lasted years. Since then, it has been a beacon of scientific discovery, helping unravel mysteries of the universe through various runs. But recently, something unexpected and alarming shook the scientific community to its core. When scientists at CERN turned up the Large Hadron Collider with a new maximum beam of energy, they detected a phenomenon that defied explanation. Theories abound, but the true cause remains elusive. What could have caused this perplexing occurrence and what are the implications of our understanding of the universe? Join us as we delve into the enigma of the Large Hadron Collider and unlock the secrets it holds. The Large Hadron Collider is a mind-boggling particle accelerator, a colossal device that propels subatomic particles to unimaginable energies in a controlled manner, allowing scientists to study their interactions. Building such a complex machine is no easy feat, but the LHC is a cutting-edge research instrument that surpasses fixed target configurations in terms of center of mass energy. Through high energy collisions within the LHC, scientists gain invaluable insight with the intricate structure of the subatomic world and the fundamental principles that govern it. Many of the elusive byproducts formed in these collisions decay rapidly, making it impossible to study them through any other means. Nestled underground in a circular tunnel that spans 50 to 175 meters deep, the LHC's location was carefully chosen to minimize the excavation of a vertical access shaft beneath the Jura Mountains and to save on expensive surrounding land. The added benefit of protection from background radiation provided by the Earth's crust further adds to its allure. The tunnel, lined with sturdy concrete and measuring 3.8 meters in width, took five years to build between 1983 and 1988. Interestingly, the LHC's current home was once occupied by a mammoth electron-positron collider. This tunnel traverses the border between Switzerland and France four times, with the majority of it lying in France. Above ground, an array of ancillary equipment including compressors, ventilation systems, control electronics and refrigeration plants support the LHC's operation. The mind-boggling amount of data generated by the LHC and its simulations is estimated to be a staggering 15 petabytes per year. To handle this colossal data, a collaborative multinational project constructed a grid-based computer network architecture as an integral part of the LHC. The construction of the LHC came at a hefty cost with an estimated budget of 7.5 billion euros, making it one of the most expensive scientific instruments ever built. Its journey began with approval in 1995 with a budget of 2.6 billion euros plus an additional 210 million euros for trials. The LHC's initial testing was delayed for 14 months after it became operational on September 10, 2008 due to a magnet quench incident that caused substantial damage to more than 50 superconducting magnets, their mountings and the vacuum pipe. The LHC then unleashed a jaw-dropping spectacle during its initial run from 2010 to 2013. Protons and lead nuclei were sent on a head-on collision course, reaching mind-bending energies of up to 4 tera electron volts. And the results? Nothing short of groundbreaking. The elusive Higgs boson, those elusive composite particles like botonium, and even the first generation of quark gluon plasma were finally caught in the act by the LHC's watchful eye. But the LHC's mission wasn't just about finding the Higgs boson, it was also a playground for scientists to hunt for other exotic particles, like supersymmetric particles and other tantalizing hypotheticals. The LHC was a portal to a world of physics wonders, where theories met reality in a dazzling dance of discovery. 
After the initial testing in 2008, the LHC kicked into high gear with its first operational run from 2009 to 2013, followed by a major makeover during a prolonged shutdown until 2015. Then it roared back to life for its second run from 2015 to 2018 only to take another breather until 2022. But when it reopened in April 2022 with a new maximum beam energy of 6.8 TeV, little did anyone know what was about to happen. In a bizarre twist of events, just days after the LHC's triumphant return, scientists detected a crack in the Earth's magnetic field that stayed open for a whopping 14 hours. Cue the Stranger Things jokes and wild theories about interdimensional beings popping through. But fear not, no otherworldly visitors showed up. Instead, the breach allowed powerful solar winds to sweep through, leaving scientists scratching their heads in shock. Unbeknownst to many, the Earth's magnetic field is a critical force that keeps our planet humming along smoothly, even though we rarely talk about it outside of science class. It's what keeps our compasses pointing north and safeguards our atmosphere from the harmful effects of solar winds that could strip away the ozone layer. While we may not discuss it often, the magnetic field is truly vital in maintaining life as we know it, something NASA experts emphasize as they delve deeper into understanding solar winds that can wreak havoc on satellites and even cause city-wide blackouts. But lately, things have taken a strange turn. NASA has been actively monitoring and tracking an anomaly in the magnetic field that has left experts puzzled. The magnetic intensity has weakened significantly, a glaring error in the field's strength, particularly in an area spanning South America and Southwest Africa. This puzzling phenomenon, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, has been keeping scientists up at night, with NASA researchers especially concerned. With numerous satellites and spacecraft in orbit, many of which circle Earth, NASA is worried about the increased exposure to charged particles from the Sun due to the weakened magnetic field. While the South Atlantic anomaly doesn't impact life on Earth directly, it poses a significant threat to spacecraft in orbit as they pass through the weakened magnetic field. These low-altitude satellites are at risk of short circuits, malfunctions and other technical glitches when struck by high-energy protons from the Sun during these periods of weakened magnetic field. In fact, NASA scientists recently announced a staggering 17 eruptions detected in a single region of the Sun, with two of those flares hurtling towards Earth at breakneck speeds of nearly 2 million miles per hour. Understanding the Sun goes beyond just its bright rays. It involves delving into the mysteries of coronal mass ejections CMEs, and solar flows. Astronomers keep a vigilant watch on these powerful eruptions as they can trigger blackouts and disrupt communication systems in a matter of seconds. In fact, SpaceX experienced a loss of 40 satellites shortly after launch in early 2022 due to a geomagnetic storm, underscoring the need for caution in studying these cosmic phenomena. Sunspots, known for their magnetic prowess and ability to unleash radiation in the form of solar flares, have also been a subject of recent fascination. Take for instance the active AR2975 sunspot that has been making waves. Typically, it takes about 15 to 18 hours for solar flares to reach Earth. But this time, a fast-moving flare outpaced a slower one, resulting in a powerful solar storm that painted the skies with a breathtaking display of natural lights known as the Northern Lights. From the northern states to Iowa and Oregon, this awe-inspiring spectacle captivated viewers across the United States. However, while these solar storms may create dazzling views, their potential for havoc cannot be ignored. According to SWPC, G3 storms can disrupt radio navigation at low frequencies and cause intermittent satellite navigation problems. In fact, some scientists have even warned that a massive G3 storm could potentially disable the global internet, resulting in trillions of dollars in damages. History bears witness to the catastrophic impact of solar storms, such as the 1989 Quebec event that cost billions in damages. The largest solar storm ever recorded was the 1859 Carrington event, which damaged telegraph systems worldwide and caused auroras that outshone the full moon. As captivating as these cosmic events may be, their destructive potential cannot be understated. 
Scientists still have a long way to go in unravelling the mysteries of the Sun and mitigating the risks associated with solar storms. After all, the cost of destruction far outweighs the fleeting beauty of these celestial phenomena. At CERN, the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider is not the only attraction. It's also home to a range of other cutting-edge experiments that delve into the mysteries of dark matter, the elusive substance thought to make up a significant portion of our universe. From the CAST experiment, searching for hypothetical particles called axions, to NA64, which collides electron beams with atomic nuclei and AMS, scouring cosmic rays from the International Space Station, CERN is a hub of groundbreaking research. Dark matter, known for its enigmatic properties as it neither emits, absorbs nor reflects light, remains a puzzle that scientists are eager to solve. With estimates suggesting that dark matter constitutes a staggering 85% of the mass in the universe, its existence is crucial in explaining various phenomena, from the rotation speeds of galaxies to the cosmic distribution of matter. Recently, an international research team in partnership with CERN conducted a precise experiment at the Albert Einstein Center for Fundamental Physics AEC, at the University of Bern, which shed new light on the potential presence of dark matter. Published in the prestigious journal Physical Review Letters, the team's findings, led by Byrne, have narrowed down the possibilities. What dark matter is actually made of is still completely unclear, says Ivo Schulfus, a PhD student at AEC and the study's principal author. However, one thing is certain, dark matter is not composed of the same particles that make up stars, planets or humans. With cutting-edge tests and methodologies being deployed worldwide to search for elusive dark matter particles, axions, a category of hypothetical fundamental particles, are a promising candidate. These ultralight particles could potentially explain other mysteries in particle physics that are yet to be unraveled. The BEAM EDM experiment, a highly sensitive measurement apparatus designed and built by the team at AEC, in collaboration with French researchers at the European Research Neutron Source and CERN, plays a key role in this quest for understanding. Thanks to the many years of expertise, our team has succeeded in designing and building an extremely sensitive measurement apparatus, the BEAM EDM experiment, explains Professor Florian Piexa renowned for his research with neutrons and recipient of the prestigious ERC starting grants from the European Research Council. By analysing the distinctive signatures that axions, if they exist, would leave in the measurement apparatus, the team was able to exclude previously unknown parameter space of axions and search for heavier hypothetical axions with unprecedented precision. So what do you make of these recent findings? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments section below.